Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I will be doing custom appreciation bags. What are those prescriptions? This month of September makes three years that I've been in the nail business. The first year, we had a hurricane come through and a lot of people wasn't working or was just busy getting their houses repaired. So business has slowed down a bit. I didn't do anything. So last year was year two and I made some treat bags for customer appreciation. This year is year three and I'm gonna make more treat bags. And if you wanna see what's going into the bag, come watch this video. <laughs> you know if you wanna start out with that laugh, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. TSM, yeah, woo! What you watch, RX Nails, who be pop, RX Nails, what you watch, RX Nails, what they judge, RX Nails, what you watch, RX Nails, who be pop, RX Nails, what you watch, RX Nails, what they judge, RX Nails, yeah, RX, RX, RX Nails. Like I was saying, this is my third year in my nail business, and I want to show my customers a little bit of appreciation. So I got some goodies I'll be placing in a bag. The items I'm placing in the bag is nail care items and, um, what's the word, like, um, what's the word I'm looking for, um, female essentials. So I have some soap, I have some candles, some cuticle oil, lotion, lip scrub, lip butter, lip gloss, the, um, the pumice for your feet. I am adamant about keeping those nails clean underneath. These items are going to be in the bag. I ordered these bags from Amazon and it just says thank you and they're pretty cute. You know, pink is one of my favorite colors. While I get together these bags, guys, I will be doing a story time. And today's story time will simply be how I got started. I am a certified pharmacy technician and I was working in the pharmacy for eight years and then the C word came along. You know, C19 came along. And it made our work shift in a different direction, which opened up my eyes to a lot of things. For one, we had to go outside and deliver the medication to the customers and I was getting pretty exhausted with that. But hey, it was part of my job so I did it. Then they shut everything down. And when they shut everything down, I had needed a refill for my nails, but I thought it was only going to be shut down for like a weekend. I really didn't think that they would shut the world down for that amount of time, but they did. I went to this uh, nail tech that do nails uh, at a house, and I was pretty amazed. She was an African-American woman like myself, and she is really good. She still do nails. She is really amazing. But... I went to her and I was pretty amazed. And as I sat there and let her do my nails, I was I didn't have not one interest in wanting to do nails. To fast forward, okay, that was in May when she did my nails. So fast forward, she did my nails three times. And then in September, I decided to do my own nails. I ordered the stuff and I did my own nails. It took me all day, but hey, I did my own nails. Once I finished, I was like, whoa, that's fun. So that made me want to do nails. And while I was doing my nails, I took, uh, I made little short videos and then I sent it to my friends and I was like, um, when y'all gonna let me do y'all nails? And it was like, um, never, you don't know how to do nails. So then I sent them my picture. Uh, I sent them a picture of how my nails look. And I said, I did these. And it was like, yeah, right. So then I sent the videos. And I was like, yes, I did. And when they saw that, it was like, oh, make me an appointment. I'm next. And stuff, you know, stuff like that. So then I did one of them nail. I post that on Facebook. And then I did my own nails again. Like a couple of days later, I just redid my own nails. And then I posted that on Facebook. Baby, when I post that, people started saying, when, uh, how much you charge? When can I get an appointment? And then my wheels went to rolling. I was like, wait a minute. I can make money off of this? And then I was like, of course you can. Don't you pay for to get your nails done, girl? That's how I got started. 
So I was still working at the pharmacy. It was um when I worked that day, I was working like eight hours, I think. At this last pharmacy I was working, I think it was like eight hour shift. And I would get off sometime like at six, five thirty or six o'clock. When I got off, that's when I would um have like one person scheduled for that day. And that's what I did. Yep. So it was at this point I realized I cannot tell the story and fill these bags. Baby, I am losing focus. Check me out. I'm really truly disheveled. Okay, so that's how I got started. So I would do one person um, nails when I get off. And then on my off days, I would schedule people. So that's pretty much how I got started. So I would like to show all of my customers appreciation. So I'm going to make these tree bags. I do appointment only. My books are not open to um, everyone at this current time because I'm only one person. And I can only do so much. I do work another job, but this is my full-time job. But anyways, so yeah. I noticed that I cannot do these tree bags and do this story time. So I pretty much gave y'all the back end. So y'all can watch me work and I'll play a little music in the background and then I'll come back and I'll talk at the end, okay? Watch me work. Really true. 
If you guys made it to this part of the video and have not hit the like button, go ahead and hit the like button and drop in the comment section to tell me what number like that you have. watching this video as I prepare for my customer appreciation month of September and if you are not subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if your nail tech gives you any type of appreciation let me know that in the comment section that's all I have for you guys today see you in my next video Push.